All right, I feel like I'm going to regret making this video because my left arm is toast, or at least the uh, outside of the bicep is. Today's plan, I think we are going to do some strict cupping. I'm gonna be working with the Mazarenko uh, cone cylinder, focusing on the thicker part. I was thinking on doing some strap work as well, so working with the, um, the Mr. Devon cupping tool, doing a little bit more on the actual cylinder of Omega Strength Obsession, and then possibly finishing off this with some bands or just alone with the actual arm max from uh, the Strength Obsession. Also, if you guys wanna save 10% at checkout, use code Keanu, K-E-A-N-U, at Omega Strength Obsession. I think it's .com, yeah. I'll, I'll just leave it down in the description below. If you guys wanna save 10% on your next order, use Keanu at checkout. Got that out of the way. Um, so last video I had done, I put on some more non-copyright sounds music and I don't understand why, but this is two videos in the row where I played a non-copyright sounds playlist, like literally different playlists and each one, I don't know if it's like the last song of the playlist or I I've just gotten extremely unlucky, but I've gotten demonetized twice. Now, luckily I've been able to remove the song and uh, the, the video actually re-got monetized. So we're gonna try it for a third time. Throw in some non-copyright sounds music and send it. I think today we're gonna focus more on the deep cup and uh, maybe even just do kind of like some static holds. I'll bring you guys through the exact weight I'm using and give you an idea of how that's kind of feeling. Also, because my left arm is a little bit toast, I'm gonna try using my left arm a little bit but I can't guarantee anything. So I think we'll get going with the workout. Plan for each one of them, I, like I usually do with all workouts, this includes like gym stuff as well. Somewhere in that three to five rep range, no, sorry, three to five um, set range. Yeah, three to five sets. And then on top of that, some statics. Try to go maybe a little heavy. Maybe my right arm is going to not do well. Um, but. Let, let's just get going with the workout. So I'll throw some music on and we will get started. Let's throw a random playlist, non-copyright sounds. Um, let's do this. All right, let's try not to get copyrighted here. Twenty five pounds on right now. Also, I did adjust the handle or the, uh, the set like actually higher, so I'm more on an angle. Oh, that's easy. Promises. Okay, form is doing okay. Oh no, that's not good. Man, I always run into issues with the stupid weights in the bottom. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of a better job on this situation. This is not good. Yeah. Let's try this again.
Whew. All right, so 25 pounds, pretty easy. Um, I think I'll do one more set with the 25 and then we'll actually start bringing it up in weight. And I'm also going to get a water bottle and put some, put some creatine and EAA, no, creatine and uh, electrolytes. So uh, bear with me for, let's just go with 10 seconds. Let's just say 10 seconds. Do some strawberry, uh, berry blast. Creatine, where you at, dog? Should I get there? Actually, let's go blueberry. I'll show you guys here in a sec. No. Oh, it's way back there. All right. Creatine, electrolytes. I essentially am just ditching you guys. <laughs> so one thing I've recently started to use pretty consistently, I would say, are electrolytes. Um, I went to go pick up some supplementation about a month and a half ago at the Supplement King that I get my stuff at. Oh my God, that's, oh geez. And I saw the manager, which is actually my buddy, Tyler, um, he was literally putting some electrolytes in his shaker cup. And I asked him, like, what the hell is that? He's, oh, it's our newest product. I was like, okay, what is, like, what is it? He's like, it's electrolytes. I'm like, okay, I've heard about it. Well, I know what electrolytes are, but I'm like, I, I heard there was an actual product for it, it was, that it just came out. And apparently it has. So since then I've been using it. Um, it's, a, it's just a good form. It's a good way. It's a good, Form, what, how do you even say that? It's a form of getting essentially more water in your body re more rapidly and keeping you hydrated with some energy. So, we will have some of this. Blueberry, yeah, it's, it's like blueberry freeze for the um, electrolytes and grape for the creatine. That's not the best, to be honest. Honestly, the water's like, well, the water is legitimately ice cold because there was ice in it. So, yeah, I fuck with that. Like I mentioned in the previous videos, I'm really trying to focus a lot more on side pressure. That's one of my very, well, it's not really side pressure. It's more like just the angle of the side being in a very awkward position and just getting that connectivity. I feel that a lot more on my left hand. Well, not my hand, my elbow. Whew. Whew. Okay. I'm gonna adjust this weight. Ouch. Okay. Ouch. So 25 pounds. Take this down. So because that was fairly easy, I think I'm going to replace the 25 with a new 45. That is not on properly. So 25, we had an extra 40, we had an extra 20 pounds. Yeah, let's just do that because I'm gonna include some side pressure here. It's probably still gonna be a little too light though. I'm gonna also move these off. Oh my 
A lot of pain right in there. Ooh, it's like a shocking pain. All right, let's test 45, see what we're dealing with. The side pressure is really gonna kick in here. Oh my God, yeah. Oh my God, ouch. Okay, I gotta be very careful. So this set, I'm going to stay more on a, like a, just directly to it, more of like a, a cupping towards me. And then after I'm gonna lower the weight so I can actually transfer to the side because any movement and I, I screwed up, I like, yeah. Like on that angle, as soon as I come in here and I let go here, there's like a little twitching area where does it just let go? I'm not gonna screw with that too much. I'll literally blow my I'll blow my elbow. That just goes to show you on like a side pressure movement, 45 pounds, it's not a lot of weight. It doesn't take much to really pressure underneath that tricep and just right down here, wild. Gotta give my right arm a break so I can't even hold myself up properly when I'm trying to do the other exercise, my other arm. Left arm's tough. Left arm is tough. Left arm, left arm's going. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna lower the weight by 10 pounds. So we will be able to use 35. And then the 35 should allow me to do the full side pressure. So let's take the 45 off. Oh, geez Louise. Okay. Where's that 25 at right here? I will be figuring out this whole, I'm just gonna remove this. I am going to be figuring out something proper for these weights, like a stand, because this is crazy. Every time I put the weights down, it literally slips underneath the, um, like the blocks just, just come apart. Um, okay, let's try this. So 35 pounds currently. We're gonna do one more. Fucking loud, Jesus. Now that I'm dealing with 35 pounds, I'm gonna come back in and retry the full side pressure. Try to mentally think about my shoulder and my elbow being driven in, and then focusing on that contraction of opening my wrist and then driving forward. But doing the motion as if like I'm curling someone in and everything's staying steady. So we'll see. Uh, We'll see what this does. All right. Let's see if we switch a song here. Let's just hope this song is a banger. Let's just hope.
okay? Also did my, I dropped the video today on the Auden Larrett and Hungarian Hulk. It's essentially a predictions, thoughts, and I wouldn't say an analysis, but more of like a thoughts analysis predictions video. So if you guys haven't seen it yet and you're seeing this video, go back one video, it's dropped. I also did a live, um, first live I've ever done. And uh, how about this? Let's just finish this set and we will, we will get back to that because there's something a little interesting with it. Man, that release pain is just something else. Oh my gosh. That is something. So, back on to the live. Next week, next Sunday, somewhere around that 12 p.m., 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I'll be doing a podcast with, excuse me, Ozzy the arm wrestler. So, if you guys want to see it, tune in. Um, I'll also be releasing updates on my Instagram and YouTube. So if you're not subscribed to this video or you're not subscribed to my channel and not to my Instagram, subscribe. Uh, details are coming and you don't really want to miss out because it is post East versus West 14. And I'm sure we're gonna have a lot to talk about. Left arm I have to be a lot more careful with and more calculated. <clears throat> go to drop my weight it's supposed to stop now and it collapses and now it's held on by my stand this is crazy I am going to fix this um, like soon because it's not good for tension on the table this just sucks man this sucks no where's the other one and then also this is not good because in between my sets I have to worry about placing the weight. And that's like the last thing I wanna do. So, let's try. Let's try this. Uh, this should be good. About there. Bing. All right. Okay. I think I'm gonna finish off with this exercise now and move on to the next one. That's been about four or five sets. So, I think the next tool we will be doing is going to be not this one. I'm gonna grab it right now. I'm gonna actually bring the tools out. I left them on the desk in here. Let's bring out one, two, three. I kind of like want to save, I was going to say my favorite. I don't really technically have a favorite. I might stray, you know what? Let's actually, let's just do strap right now. Um, and I'll put these to the side. So we'll do strap and then we'll burn out with the uh, wrist max from Omega Strength Arm Obsession. 
I'm also thinking on doing a giveaway. I don't know exactly what, um, it's a way for me to give back to the community. So if there's anything you guys can think of, if it's an arm wrestling tool, if it's even possibly my table, I think that's a far reach. But if I can get this video out to a large amount of people, I, I would have no issue doing a pretty decent giveaway. Um, but I think we'll probably start with something like a, maybe a signed tool or a couple tools. Uh, I'd have to gauge it. It really, really is going to depend. But if you guys can think of anything, that could be interesting. Seriously, let me know. Uh, we're doing with 35 pounds. We can try that. So, um, 45, no, 35 pounds. Yeah, 35 pounds. Mr. Devin cupping tool. We are going to start with the pressure on the top of the hand, and then we're just going to move down. This. And I'm also going to remove this here. The pad. Come on. This is so bad. Come on. All right, let's get the music going. this transitions well on the table um, right, let's do the bottom now That's tough. That is legit. 35 pounds. And that's not 35 pounds on a cable system at the gym. This is 35 raw pounds coming vertically down. Um, and that's one thing I'm learning, especially with a, the Devin cupping tool, is that tool doesn't mess around. Um, yeah. Woo! That right arm is getting blown up yeah yeah good good pump the one thing I really like about the, the like and this is this is new to me relatively speaking I haven't really done this much up until very recently but when you have the Devin cupping tool and you have that pressure coming off the bottom of the hand you really have to focus on your hand almost being tilted like legit low hand and then driving in because if you just focus on the pressure coming vertically up the way the handle is the is coming off your hand it doesn't perfectly go up just based off the angle here so if you're if you're focusing let's just say it's around my hand here like this one more up here it's not gonna directly just come up like this. It's actually gonna come off and slip to the side. So you really have to dig in and do that like deep cup because it just you can't just do it vertically unless if this was higher and I was more steeper in. Um, <laughs> I was not well explained, um, but I'm sure you guys get it for those who do this tool fairly often. You really have to watch your angle with doing this because it will just slip off. That's, trying to, that's what I'm trying to get to. Um, yeah, so I say we do this one, maybe two more. Let's just try one more time and then possibly go again.
I mean, after doing this exercise with like 35 pounds, I couldn't imagine those who do this with stupid numbers, like over 100 pounds. This is, I'm not talking in like in a, in a gym we're using just a regular life fitness cable system. I'm talking like legit weight going down. I'm having trouble with 35 pounds, which equates to 12 and a half to what, 13, 14 kilo, kilograms, 15 kilograms, let's say. It's not much, not much at all. Um, we can do a little left. Let's do a little left hand. I have to give my left hand more time to, to, um, to, to uh, what am I looking for? I have to give my left hand more time to rest. Oh my God. Oh my God, my hand has a lot. See, that's, that's literally what I was just talking about. You gotta be careful with this tool. It's, and that release pain hurts. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do the left anymore. I'm done for that, man. Done for that. Okay. Uh, let's see what's up. So. Nice. Ooh, okay. I'm thinking we'll do one more dab and cupping tool. Uh, upper fingers, lower fingers. Then we're gonna drop it and then we will move on to probably just the, uh, the wrist max and just focus on those fingertips and maybe even just, maybe no reps. Let's just see what we can do for maybe statics and then maybe use the weight to work on the hand and that's it. So let's just grind out one set on the right. And then we can actually switch it up. But first, let's get some hydration going. But you know what? I'll actually give you guys a quick little um, view of the city as, actually, I can hold the camera up like this. Does this work? Yeah. I'll give you guys a quick little view of the city as it's so beautiful outside. But check this out. Let's see if this, is there any focus? Is there any focus? All right, I will give you guys a view of the city. The weather is beautiful. I just came out here to film, and when I went to go put my camera back on the actual table, I realized that for some reason the footage have gotten cut, the footage was cut, so take two. Um, but look how beautiful it is out here. You guys can't see much here, but I'm going to turn the camera around and hopefully, actually, there you go. Now we're working. You guys can see how blue the actual sky is. And I'm literally training inside, inside my, my place here. Balconies flexing on us. And of course we have the, we just have good weather out here. And back inside we go. And you have a little bit more <laughs> of an idea of just how beautiful this place is. So take two. Here we go again. Um, whew, let's actually try this. So I'm gonna be switching up the tool now as, well, I had, I had apparently done a set and, and never realized that it actually made it on camera because it stopped filming. So that's kind of how this all came about. So we're gonna switch up the, the uh, tool here. We're gonna work with the um, Strength Obsession from Omega. And uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking on just doing maybe some statics. So let's send it. All right. Some statics. Here we go. Can I even do 35 pounds with, I don't know.
hard. Left hand, maybe, maybe. One, I'm going to adjust the weight here because now it's falling again. Oh no, dude. Oh, so bad. So bad. Sheesh. Okay. Whew. Okay. This is probably a little bit better. Yeah, what is there to talk about in between sets? Let's take a look. Mm, I was gonna save that for a different video. Did you guys see that Devin Larrick called out, um, what's his name, uh, Jason Kelsey? He is a, I'm gonna bring that lighting up for you a little bit. He is a, a um, football player from the Philadelphia, he's a football player from the Philadelphia Eagles. Imagine if Devin can get him in the sport. I, I think the story originated from Travis arm wrestling someone over the past weekend, I think about a week ago. And I was recently just seeing this on YouTube, so it kind of piqued my interest, like what's going on? I know there's a lot of strong man, there's a lot of people coming into the sport, but it would be kind of cool to see some type of a football player or just some other big name jump in. Um, even if it's just for a match, would be pretty cool. All right, let's get her going. Another static hold. It would be easy for me to switch the weight, but I'm just gonna stick with 35 as I can hold it statically, and then after like 15 seconds, this actually starts to get very difficult. Or at least that's what it seems. problem when you're in like a cupping motion, when you're in this position for a, start, a certain amount of time, at some point, like 10, 20 seconds in, it starts to feel like your, your tendons are about to skip and you start to get this light pain. So that's kind of where I start to let off the gas just a little bit because um, you don't want to hold it too long and then you feel like your tendons are ripping. Um, I think that's like the complete non-logical way to go. Um, and that's definitely not a way if you want to repair your tendons by just directly hurting them. Music's okay today. I've had better NCS playlists, the ones that get copyrighted. Yeah, those ones tend to be better apparently. Okay. We will do... Faded, no, I don't think I can use that. Let's try this one. Okay, I'll do one more set static with this, and then I'm gonna switch out the actual handle, do the cylinder, and that might be it. I think that's gonna be it. Like I said, today's supposed to be a recovery day, but uh, I don't know how people do this whole no days off thing. I don't mind this at all. That's one thing that's crazy too is statics. 
man, just like on my third set, just holding, I'm like six or seven seconds in and then I can just start shaking instantly. It's uh, very interesting. Definitely kind of makes you think of your stabilizer muscles. And, and I don't ever, ever do statics. So it's something I've wanted to incorporate for God knows how long, but uh, you know, I guess that's somewhere. So I figured why not start doing it and just see what happens. I mean, it's also kind of a, a little bit of a cheat code of not working out as hard. Um, at least that's what I like to tell myself. But then you're doing it and you're like, this is, this is just as difficult, if not actually harder. Okay. So one thing I find that's a little bit weird. Um, so from the Omega Strength Obsession, they have this cylinder here. And on this cylinder, you have a strap. Why? Why? I mean, look, I can obviously tighten it. Cool. Like here, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just tighten it. Let's, we're tightening it. Let's try this. Come on. Boom. Okay. But I don't need, like, you see, what, you see what's going on here? Boom, boom, boom. We're good. We're good. But the, why the strap? So I think I'm going to take this off right now. I'm going to, actually, you know, I have an idea. Well, oh, that's probably too short. That's probably too short. I was going to say, you technically have an arm wrestling strap right here, um, but that would be a short one. What if you did this? Boom. Oh my God, that's way too short. But yeah, I mean, like, but just genuinely, I don't need it on here. I don't know what the point is to it. I, I, it kind of looks cool, kind of use, looks useful, but uh, I don't really need it. As for this one, now that I think of it, I mean, I don't want to really just take off the... Are they the same length? No. I will, I'll, I will say though, I might have to order myself one of the Omega Strength Obsession actual belts. I'm gonna get you guys to focus in on here. But look at the, no, I want you to focus on the belt. Try this. You guys can see the quality of the actual belt itself. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. I'm gonna leave the handle the way it is. They'll fix it later. Um, but yeah, I think with this here, I'm actually going to put some more weight on so we can actually go heavy as we've got a thicker handle and just doing farm curls in general tends to be a little bit more on my side of things. Uh, so here, let's just do this. Oh, geez. Be careful. I gotta be careful, dog. Jeez. Okay. Um, okay, right now we have 35, 45, 50. So I'm actually just gonna slap on a bunch of weight, take off this 10. I'm going to add on the 45, which is just underneath the camera here. I'll pop it up, 45 pounds. We're gonna slap this on. So there's a 25 right underneath, plus the 45. Um, and where is that cylinder? I'm gonna put that cylinder on just for the balance. So right now we have 45, 55, 65, 70 pounds, 70 pounds raw on the cupping tool. And I am genuinely curious to see how this is going to, come on, get up there. I'm actually really curious to see how am I gonna do with this? Because now we're actually getting up in weight. Now I'm not obviously going to come in full side pressure and use my interconnectivity because I would legitimately blow my elbow out, but I think I can get a couple reps in with the cylinder. That's heavy weight. Is that better? Oh, we good, we good. Whew. Okay, let's do three more sets. 
And I think, uh, I think at that point we're gonna call it. Oh, nice. One of them is misbehaved by shipwreck. Misbehaved by shipwreck. Misbehave. Shipwreck. I'm gonna add this in my songs. Oh my lord. If there's one thing I need to be better at as well, it's stretching. I'm not someone to finish a workout and then just like lie on the floor and stretch out my arms. So in the shower, I've been actually just trying to like put my arm to the side and get some stretches in and then like bend over straight forward and uh, really extend in hopes that it's gonna help. And then when I hit the saunas too, I, I try to, at the beginning or the end of a sauna session, I'll try to do a little bit of stretching, but that is definitely one of my weakest points. Um, and the girlfriend and I, well, my girlfriend, we have been talking about it and we are thinking on starting yoga. So I don't know if there's any arm wrestlers who've been watching my channel who do yoga, but if you know anything about yoga or you've done it or you think it could have any benefit to arm wrestling specifically, let me know. I'd be genuinely curious. I think um, from like a balance, endurance, uh, I mean like health, but also from like a stretching tendon standpoint, I think it's very healthy, but I've never actually done it and I don't know if I have the patience and strength. So if anyone's doing it or you have done it, let me know. All right. Um, battery apparently is going to die on me, so I'm going to attempt to keep going, and if it dies, well, we're, we're just gonna switch it out. We're coming in the end, though. Woo! I'm gonna put my finger over it this time, see if this makes it, uh, this is actually more difficult. Ooh. This being 70 pounds, 45, 55, 65, 70, you can see how much I'm struggling on a forearm curl, which means I don't think I'm too far off from a one rep max. Um, I will do a video. Uh, I'm gonna do a video at some point. I would like to hope and think soon on my one rep max with some of these lifts. Obviously, uh, I don't have a ton of weight. Uh, we're moving up, um, but I know it doesn't take much more. We can figure it out. So uh, it is coming. It is coming. Oh my God, my left, my, both of my arms feel toast, but my right arm is starting to feel a little stringy. Let's go again. I'm gonna end this video here because I'm just toast. Oh my gosh, I am legitimately toast. Right arm is fried, left one was fried yesterday. Um, but I think I'm going to drop it there. There's nothing really else more to talk about. I do plan on doing more lives. Like I said, I'm doing a live next week with Ozzy the Arm Wrestler on Sunday, Pacific Standard Time. I think it's gonna be around noon. Uh, and if you live in Australia, well, it's going to be on Monday, 10 a.m. is the plan. Besides that, there's nothing really much going on. Tomorrow's Monday, national holiday here in Canada, at least here in British Columbia. So day off. And yeah. Speaking with my flight instructor today, it's looking like I, he literally wrote in confirmation, um, essentially word for word, 
we will get your pilot's license done this month, or we would like to get your pilot's license done this month. So it, we're coming in, we're in the first week of August, three weeks away. It's gonna happen, guys, it's gonna happen. And I did have a question recently about, am I going to be competing at some point this year? And when's my next tournament? And to be honest, I, I didn't really have one in mind, but we do have a tournament in Burnaby, which is happening in October, which is when I'm starting my next prep. It's like a two month prep right before Christmas. Um, I might just do a tournament and fly to it. So if you guys wanna see that, I'm telling you subscribe. I, I'm going to be doing something that has never been done before. And I am, I'm fucking excited. I really do. I, I really think this is gonna change the game for myself and the sport, I, I, I just know it's gonna be a game changer. And on that bombshell, I'm gonna end the video here. Um, I really don't really have much more to say, but if you guys like this type of content, I'm gonna try to stick it up more. If you guys like this type of content, you know what, I'm gonna go where the lighting is actually probably a little bit better. If you guys like this type of content, you know what to do. Subscribe and or like the video. Um, there, there's a lot more coming and it will never stop. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, peace.